Well, there we go. Okay. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Tiblio. All right, so recently I've noticed that we had a lot more people signing up to Tiblio using my link. I figured that this would be a good time to make a video just about the Tiblio platform. Now, keep in mind, they do have regular updates, so I might be making a video further down the line. Also, make sure that you guys thumbs up this video. It really helps the channel. Subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. Uh, the first important thing that I wanna share with you guys is as soon as you sign up to Tiblio, you actually have one free one-on-one -on -one consultation with uh, the Tiblio developers. So you can actually have a conversation with them, uh, check and see with them if it's still available to you. But yeah, they also host daily live streams Eastern time. Uh, yeah, they talk about trades from the day. Good afternoon, my name is Lee. Happy to be with you today as Happy to be with you every day. Chat about the markets, your trade, my trades, and some interesting news. So make sure that you guys check out Tiblio's live YouTube channel. All right, so your trade journal is gonna be the first page that you see at login. So this is where you can log all of your trades. It's also gonna let you know the trades that you currently have open, the trades that you've closed, your win weight percentage, percentage loss. It's really helpful to log your trades in a journal, period. More importantly, you wanna review your losses, okay? So you wanna go back, go through the chart, see what time you got into that trade what time did you exit it and you know you can kind of get an understanding of what you did wrong so that you don't make that mistake again on the next tab here you're gonna see education so this is the education hub and they have a lot of different things in here like an introduction to Tiblio and the system introduction to credit spreads okay so they're gonna break it down into you know the call credit spreads put credit spreads and then they're also just gonna give you an introduction with a few tips and tricks so this is a four-part video they're gonna let you know about the screen and then also you'll see you know a short introduction to iron condor so they have three different parts to the iron condor series and this is something that's gonna be really great for the earnings plays but we're gonna talk about that in a little in a, a little bit later on and then also down here they have option sweep so I haven't talked about that but basically a sweep is when there's a large purchase uh, usually from maybe inside traders or hedges a large purchase that's probably not you or I so we kind of want to follow those trades and just kind of see what that person is doing okay all right and then one of the coolest features about Tiblio is now they have a discord group so not only do they have option screeners but they also have a group chat okay so uh, you're automatically going to be able to be enlisted in the group as long as your membership is active then you'll be able to join the discord just click this link and it is uh, going to get you set up and send you over to the Tiblio discord I uh, will go into a little bit more on the discord in a little bit really really good stuff on there okay so the first strategy that you're gonna see on the list is short spread spreads or credit spreads and we've talked about this a little bit on the channel before so I'll make sure and leave a link to that video below for anybody that's new but in short a credit spread is gonna be an option strategy that's gonna collect premium when you open that trade okay so you're gonna be getting paid to open this credit spread in this trade you're gonna buy an option and then you're gonna sell an option at the same time with the same expiration date so yeah when you look at the list on Tiblio it's gonna give you a lot of important factors like whether the spread is you know a call or a put so bearish it's gonna give you the expiration date the maximum return and then also the max loss okay so one thing going into this you're gonna see the profit percent compared to the loss amount the higher this max return percent is then the closer your max profit is gonna be to the potential loss so just for an example here okay your maximum return is gonna be hundred and seventy seventy eight dollars max loss 322 okay so this is the highest max return percentage and then if you go to the low max return a dollar for a loss of basically a hundred girl no honey so these are things that you want to be mindful mindful of I would prefer a high max return percent and then also a high percent of profit so the POP POP and then also right here it's gonna let you know the strike prices that you're gonna buy and the ones that you're gonna sell uh, so the one with the negative that's the one that you're gonna sell and then the one with the positive 
that's the strike price that you're gonna buy. So with credit spreads, if the stock price stays a good distance away from your strike prices, you're going to be profitable. That's gonna be a good trade. And of course, you're gonna wanna look at the stock chart further out, so I'd probably, probably say maybe a time frame, 180 days. Get a good look at what's going on with the trade and to see, can you see the stock price reaching your strike prices. If so, then you might not wanna take that trade. And then also make sure that you always have a stop loss in place for your option trades, okay? Next is going to be the short naked puts. And that's basically just gonna be selling put options. And it's called naked because in this play, you don't actually own any of the shares. So you're gonna benefit from these type of plays when the stock price goes up. And then also you'll see they kind of have a similar setup to the credit spreads. Now, sometimes this can be a very risky play because your potential risk of loss can be very, very high. So just kind of looking right here, maximum return $120 versus a max loss of 4,000. Now this is to the extreme, they have a max return percent also. So max return of 647, max loss 1,000, eh, that's a lot. Just be careful with these plays. And then also you don't necessarily have to just do a naked put. So you can actually make this into a credit spread also. So you can make the, make this into debit spread, a put credit spread. Also assignment is gonna be something that is a possibility anytime you're selling options. So assignment means uh, when the person that you're selling the option contract to actually wants to buy those 100 shares, then you're going to be you know obligated to provide them with those 100 shares definitely with these you're going to want to follow a stock trend so you want to pick stocks from this list that are trending upwards or that they're showing signs of beginning and uptrend and then always 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 have a stop loss or some type of bailout price where you know you're gonna buy back into the position that you sold so that you can cut your losses with this one okay so that's the naked spreads now the next two, these are these are two of my favorite ones. All right, so the first one you're gonna see is the bull squeeze, all right? Now this is a bullish play, just like the name suggests, but with this play, we're gonna be looking for unusually high option volume activities on at-the-money call options that are gonna expire in about 30 days. So these are gonna be stocks that, you know, kind of show indicator setups for a bullish breakout with high call volume, okay? And we've talked about this before, the importance of high volume on your options. So one important thing to focus on is the volume and the open interest here. Now, this is just a signal. This does not mean that the stock is gonna go up. For these plays, you're gonna wanna pick a position with a high probability of success, and then also check the news and see if there's anything that's going on that could be causing you know, this sudden move in call volume. So I'll just use uh, this one, this first one as an example. So I see BBIG, and it kinda has a pretty, pretty high volume. So let's go over to the Discord. Or you can just go to any room normally I do it in off topic and all you're gonna do is type in forward slash and that's gonna bring up this is called your slash comment so these are all the different commands that you can do in Tiblio just click on Sydney hey Sydney what's up and then click on news and then put in the ticker symbol so the ticker symbol was BBIG okay so look here you kind of see this right here Vinco Ventures Options alert, September 17th, $10 uh, strike price calls. They have a sweep going on near the ask. Okay, I kinda wanna do this live, so let's just kinda see. Okay, so I'm on uh, BBIG, this is on Weeble, and let's just go to the options, and it said September 17th, so that's this, and $10 strike price. Oh wow, it's going up, okay. Um, so it's at 285 right now. It has really high open interest, uh, really, really high volume, 65,000. That's absolutely insane. So we're gonna go ahead, get into this really quickly. Uh, I really wanna get into this, so I'm probably just gonna go with the max 290. So let's just go for that. All right, so we got in, great. And I'm just gonna, I don't wanna hold on to this too long, so I just kinda wanna see sell in here. So. I'm not gonna do too much, I'm gonna do it at 295 and we'll just see, I just wanna see live how long that this is gonna take. Now, like I said, this is not, doesn't mean that it's gonna go up, but we're just gonna see what happens. It's obviously been moving. Uh, so I have my, my sell limit at 295, it's at 288 right now. So let's see, we're waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, oh, 290, oh, 292. Let's just see if it hits my target. Up. Well, there we go. Okay. And that was live. That was live. Uh, so yeah, you'll see what we kind of had there. It was very short. You know, it's just kind of an example of 
how I would use this. So you see how uh, we saw the play, we got on to the news, I saw that there was a sweep happening, I jumped in, jumped out, and we had a bit of a profit. So that's, that's definitely what you can use, excuse me, this bull squeeze finder for, so it's great. All right, and next you're gonna see the bear squeeze. This is literally gonna be the opposite of the bull. A bear squeeze is gonna happen when investors want to, to drive a company's share price down so they can buy back in cheaper. So this is, like I said, pretty much gonna be the same concept as the bull squeeze, just for bearish plays. So we're gonna be looking for unusually high volume except on put options this time. One interesting thing to note that stocks usually tend to fall faster than they do going up. Now next you're gonna see the earnings plays. Now these plays are built around stock earnings, which are famous for having really nice price movements. Um, and then also they have an applied volatility crush to take advantage of. So I don't know if you guys are, fam are familiar with that, but just it, it happens all the time. Right before a stock has earnings, the implied volatility will shoot up really high because there's a lot of interest in it. Um, and then, you know, right after they, <laughs> Right after they report the news, it just it just drops like a hotcake. So this is really gonna be good if you're doing premium, uh, premium receiving plays uh, because you're really gonna be able to take advantage of that. So this is really good. They give you the earnings dates. They give you the percentage of bullish, neutral, and bearish plays. So these are just gonna be the percentage of options in those plays. So, so it's really good to have this information because you can use that to make your strategies by kind of seeing where that movement is headed. So where are you seeing the most movement here? Now, one really easy earnings play to consider is doing iron condors. Um, that's where you're gonna do two different credit spreads at one time. So uh, you know we were talking about the credit spreads before, two option plays, so this one is gonna be four. Four options, um, and then also one of the most amazing things about this as far as the earnings is this market maker move right here, the MMM. So what you can do is you can use this information to set up your limits of where the stock is going to go. So the market maker move basically, it's basically just the option market guesstimation of how much this stock is going to move up or down after earnings or with, with that earnings play. Actually, any earnings play you're doing, you wanna pick an expiration after the earnings with plays like condors or credit spreads then you're gonna get the most profit or keep most of your profit with a drop of in that implied volatility so you really just want these plays to lose value so that you can keep all of that premium um, and that's why for these plays I would really do a premium receiving play versus just doing a call or a put or anything like that but next up we have covered calls so that's when you're gonna sell call options on stocks that you already have in your portfolio so let's say if you're gonna sell one call option of SPRT you actually own a hundred shares of that so you have a hundred shares and then you want to sell a call so really you're just gonna get to keep all of that potential of price movement so yeah in this play you're the seller so you're gonna receive an upfront premium with this and here's the if called so if this is exercise so if this happens this is gonna be the percent increase that you've gotten from where that stock price was versus the strike price so obviously Obviously, if this is lower, you would be getting less less credit. So for this one, it's pretty close to the strike price. So, but then this one, yeah, this one has a much higher credit. This one you get six hundred dollars for. This one you would get seventeen hundred for. Oh wow, this is nice. Okay, but then keep in mind too. I just want you guys to know you do not have to actually own the stocks for these. These are just really high premium, out of the money calls that the screener is going to find for you. So if you don't actually own the one hundred shares, you can turn this into a credit spread so yeah with covered calls you actually want the stock to decrease so you really don't want the stock price to actually reach this strike price that's one thing you don't want okay and then the last one the last one is going to be the implied volatility gaps all right these are gonna be implied volatility gaps from the day before so these stocks aren't necessarily bullish they're not bearish there's just a big change in the stocks volatility so we really want to find out what's causing that so for these especially we're gonna want to do a new search to see what could be moving the stock so just for example I'll do this one ACAD okay so this is okay this is kind of a, this is an old update from read off to leave oh oh my goodness so they have a EVP and a CFO that are stepping down on the 10th 
Wow. So yeah, that's some news. So that definitely could, that definitely could be a reason for movement. So yeah, stocks with the largest daily change in at the money implied volatility. So yeah, this setup looks pretty simple, but it's so powerful and you're going to see. So yeah, you'll see the symbol, the company's name. This is the implied, the average implied volatility. And this is the implied volatility change amount since yesterday. And all of these are at the money options with at least 30 days until they expire and the implied volatility change is going to be right next to it so this is how much it changed on the day that this was posted so these are really really good plays and when options have a higher implied volatility then they're going to have a higher premium they're going to cost more so you would probably be more profitable with actually receiving that high premium versus paying it that's just kind of something to keep in mind for that okay but yeah you guys that's pretty much it for tiblio i hope that you enjoy this platform but make sure you check out this playlist I have more videos on Tiblio, uh, so make sure you check that out. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yes, sir. <laughs>